there might be a tendency for parents to self-blame and to say, it's my fault, how did I not catch this, what did I do? What message would you give to parents about their child's behavior? I would first and foremost tell parents that this is not their fault and that it would be natural to feel like you didn't do something right or that you missed it, but to please try to dismiss those those thoughts because really this is something that's very secretive, that kids are going to keep it secret and that what your child needs right now in the moment is the support and the love and caring to figure it out from here on out. And so regardless of what happened in the past, regardless of what you missed, you're noticing it now. And that's what matters and that's what counts. And to really focus on that part of it. And I also encourage parents, if this brings up a lot of stuff for them and they're really having a hard time dealing with it, that they can seek some help for themselves as well to work through it because it is important for parents to be as open as possible to what their child needs and try to put their stuff aside. And if they're having a hard time doing it, that there's no shame in also reaching out for help so that they can work through things that are coming up for them. Turning an eye toward prevention, is this something you should talk to your child about even if you don't think they're engaging in? Is there any conversation you could have um, you know, before it ever becomes an issue? Yes, I think that could be something that could be helpful, not in the we're going to sit down and have the talk um, kind of way, but I think a lot of times things like this come up in, um, can come up in conversations. If you're having daily conversations with your child and you know about their life, they will talk about their friends. And a lot of times they will talk about the problems that their friends are having. And in those instances, there may be ways to talk to them about how their friends are dealing with things. How would you deal with this if you were struggling with this? Um, reinforcing ideas that you know no matter how hard things get, we are always here for you, that you can always come to us. Um, maybe asking some questions like, you know, what do you do when you get really overwhelmed? Um, sometimes things come up when you watch television shows. And so if you're engaged with your child and you're watching the shows that they watch, whether you like them or not, <laughs> you're sitting and watching them, um, it could elicit some dialogue. So I think dialogue that comes up naturally, dialogue that comes up in the context of um, your relationship with them is very helpful and can be very preventative. Um, but again, it's not that we're gonna sit down and talk about this kind of thing. That usually doesn't work very well.